Hey Dave here with Mako Spear Guns. Today I'd like to show you how to upgrade the blades on your fins with removable foot pockets. It's a straightforward process, but there are a couple tricks I want to share with you. We're going to start off with a Mako Competition Free Dive Composite Fin, and we're going to upgrade it to fiberglass blades in this video. You'll need some tools, including a flat blade and Phillips screwdriver, the inserts provided with your new blades, a drill bit, pliers, food grade silicon, and your drill. Okay, the first step is removing the existing blade from the foot pocket. To do this, we'll remove the two screws from the base plate on the bottom of the fin. Now we'll flip the blade over and using our flat blade screwdriver, we'll pop out the top plate. Next, we'll remove the two retaining C-clips at the ends of the foot pocket arms. Using your flat blade screwdriver, we'll pry the foot pocket arms off the thin blade. Once the arms are partially removed, we can easily grab the arms and remove them the rest of the way by hand. Now you can pull the blade from the foot pocket. And we're now ready to begin installing the new blade. Begin with your foot pocket upside down and slide the new blade into the slot in the foot pocket. Make certain the blade is all the way in. Next, we'll spray a liberal amount of silicon onto the fin reel to ease installation of the foot pocket arms. By bending the foot pocket arm back, we'll increase the size of the opening in the arm, allowing the arm to easily slip over the fin rail. The trick here is using a back and forth wiggle action to work the arm over the fin rail. Another tip, when you get to the last three or four inches, slip your flat blade screwdriver into the foot pocket arm and use it as a lever to continue the back and forth wiggle action to complete the arm installation. Now repeat the process for the other side. Next we're going to drill the blade, but first make certain the blade is seated correctly and completely into the foot pocket. If your foot pocket arms end right at the transition point of the fin rail and fin edge stabilizer, you're good to go. If not, adjust the blade into the foot pocket until you have a perfect alignment. Using your pliers, push the drill guide inserts into the holes in the foot pocket, ensuring that they're all the way in. Using the guides ensures a perfect alignment of the foot pocket and the blade holes. Now drill the two holes and then remove the guides. Next, reinstall the top plate and then flip the fin over. Set the bottom plate over the holes, orienting it so the thicker side of the plate faces the end of the blades and the thinner side faces the foot pocket. Then screw the plate on, being sure not to over tighten the screws. And note, you may need to hold the top plate from the underside so it doesn't push out of its cavity while you're screwing the bottom plate in. 
Now we'll install the C-clips on the ends of the foot pocket arms. And note that the clips are tapered. They will only install correctly in one direction. Start the clip at one end and with a smooth pushing action, snap the clip over the arm. Installed correctly, it will fit snug on the foot pocket arm. And that's it. Now repeat the procedure for the other fin and you're ready for your next dive.